Prime Minister Alan Chastney has denied claiming that the island is broke. The government leader phoned into Newspin on Real FM on Thursday, October 15, 2020, on the eve of a critical cabinet meeting on the government response to a rise in COVID-19 cases last week. Chastney, during the interview, hinted that the controversy was politically motivated. You know, it's very sad that on one hand, the opposition says that you don't play politics with health and they're not going to play politics with COVID. But persons do. And this idea that um, we've gone out and said the country was broke, I never said the country is broke. I said if, in fact, that we have to shut this country down, it is going to put significant amount of stress on our revenues. And as a therefore, it's going to be very difficult. We're going to have to make some tough decisions. We don't have the cash on hand to go and reshut the country down, restart a significant income stabilization program, feeding programs. And what, are, what, what do you think? Are the... on now on a, more, on a more sporadic basis. The Prime Minister's initial remarks, which were made on Sunday, October 11, 2020, garnered regional and international media attention, with some government leaders citing Chastney's comments in public policy and political announcements. Leader of the opposition, Philip J. Peer, also referenced the statement during a press conference last week where he sought answers on the state of the nation's fiscal position. Now, some commentators have accused the mainstream press from far and wide of deliberately taking the Prime Minister out of context, arguing the remarks were about the COVID-19 income support programs. So what did the Prime Minister actually say? What's at stake is not only the health of our nation, but is also the economics of our nation. It's no secret. The government has exhausted all of the efforts, all of the resources with the NIC and donor agencies to provide a social stabilization program for the public and for those persons who've lost their jobs. We have no more money. The quote broke versus quote no money commentary has spawned a heated debate in the public square about passing language, semantics and splitting hairs. This is not the first time the Prime Minister's rhetoric by his account has been misconstrued by the media, including regional audiences. Pro-UWP government supporters have accused critics and detractors of deliberately misrepresenting the Prime Minister. However, some pundits argue that given the far-reaching implications of statecraft, the language used by the political directorate must be precise to ensure there is and no ambiguity and public misconception. We have no more money. Colby DeVoe, HDS News Force. ...is to regain the strength of our economy.